and, and thanks for sharing. And I want to hit back on that. But one of the issues I have, we, I know that there are lots of programs out here. Some programs, you know, families can't afford them. Because there are some camps out here that, I mean, prices are just crazy for parents to, to afford them. And at the same time, I know the person who's running the program has to eat and live, too. We have all these programs. Why are there still kids on the street? Why are there still, still kids out on the street 2, 3 o'clock in the morning? I'm not just talking 17, 18-year-olds. I'm talking 12 and 13-year-old kids out 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning in harm's way. So we have all these programs, and there's a lot more than what's just sitting right here. Why the hell we got all this stuff going on? Uh, again, I think maybe we would have to go back to the fact that <clears throat> there are a lot of single families, single parent families. Where but did, did that become an excuse? Not to cut it's up, not an excuse. an excuse. It's not an excuse, but for whatever reasons, these children are not being supervised appropriately. All right, let's let's let's. And let's, let's I'm, go ahead. I'm just saying that because most of the time, in these single parent homes, the mom is working. Sometimes they're working 12 to 8. They're working as nurses, assistants, or whatever to try to provide for their child during those hours. These kids at these times aren't being supervised, and they're going out, they're hanging in gangs, and they're out on the street. There's no possible way any child of mine, 11, 12, 13 years old, will be out in the street 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, we talk about all of these programs, and I think some of the programs are wonderful, mm -hmm. and I think some of the programs are useless. And I think the reason why you have some wonderful programs and some useless programs is because a lot of these programs are developed by people who think they know the solution to these problems. But like I said earlier, I, and when, you, when these kids come on, I want them to tell us what the problem is, because you can't have politicians, you can't have people who are activists just decide that they know the answer to a problem. You know, what that leads to is programs building schools with no programs in the schools, and it leads to a bunch of, fa of, of facade. That's all it leads to. And inside there, you have nothing. And so what happens is these kids, like Al is saying, some of them aren't supervised, but that's not an excuse. But what happens is you get a bunch of kids who exist inside of a community where they see other kids like themselves, and they start to fight with one another, and it becomes unsafe. And so you have to revert from what we would consider the model of a civilized society to a tribal society where you have gangs, cliques, and all of those things. Mm -hmm. And it just, it compounds itself. Mm -hmm. so